Next up is Joseph in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, listening on CHRB. Hi, Joseph. Hey, how's it going? Doing good. Hey, so I was just wondering what was your thoughts on the occultic influence on today's governments and if there are any governments today with a maybe not pure but a main Christian ideal idealism in their um in their statue. Well, you, you know, governments are made up of people and I think that the 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 substantial problem in culture uh is is the world, the flesh and the devil. And if we give in to the world and the flesh and the devil, we have the devolution of societies. So I, I think rather than thinking about uh, esoteric issues, I think what we need to do is recognize that we have been called to be a leavening force in culture. Um, if we're not a leavening force in culture, then the culture will devolve. Jesus says, if the salt loses its saltiness, it is no longer good for anything to be other than to be thrown out and trampled by men, or variously that we are the light of the world, and we're not to put our light under a bushel, but on its stand, so it gives light to everyone in its vicinity. And, and when we don't do that, culture devolves. Uh, I was looking today doing some research for a message that I'm giving in the near future, and uh, I was looking at what has happened to Holland, uh, the country that I was born in. Uh, I don't remember the exact statistics, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of 80 or 85 percent of people in Holland today have never been in a church. They have no identity whatsoever with the body of Christ. When my parents were growing up, uh, the church was a part of their daily lives, and so it was for the culture in general. Uh, now, all my relatives that are in Holland, I would say the vast majority of them, have no identification whatsoever uh, with the body of Christ. And as a result of that, the culture has crumbled in many ways, including the fact that you now have euthanasia vans roaming the streets. Uh, the culture devolves when Christians are no longer salt and light. So I, again, my, my aim in answering your question is simply to say that we, we must recognize a responsibility in culture and also recognize that when cultures devolve, it is a function of the world, the flesh, and the devil. But I don't think it's wise to simply relegate it to the devil. The devil certainly is seeking to devour. He's the god of this age. And uh, he wants people to follow in his train, but I think it's a, a, a dangerous idea if we, we don't uh, make, make certain that we also mention the leavening force that is missing as the result of Christians uh, not doing what Christians ought to do. Yeah, um, I guess I agree with that. I was just thinking more in terms of, well, like, like you said about Holland, right? Christianity used to be a central part of life, and now you look at today, and a lot of it's very degenerate, like places like Amsterdam with the red light district, and you see stuff like this everywhere, this constant degeneracy and promotion of non-Christian secular values and satanic-like imagery, and just all that stuff is just disgusting, and you see it on a daily level in many things, and I don't really see any governments or people, you know, like putting a stop to it. And it just, you know, it just kind of breaks my heart. And especially me as a young, a young man, like with Christ on my back, I try to talk to people and, you know, like, I don't know, it's just, it's really confusing. It just makes me sad. Like even in Canada, you see all this degeneracy and stuff that's going on. It's just, I don't really know what's going on. Well, and I think what's important is that you do know what's going on. And that is why we promote, resources like Love Thy Body by Nancy Piercy. We want people to be informed in terms of what is going on so that they're ready always to give an answer, a reason for the hope that lies within them, and therefore they could be a leavening force in the culture. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Hank. Appreciate hey, it. I appreciate your call and your passion.